Keith Lee, you guys might know him from a TikTok, Instagram, etc. Mm. Yes, he does this little hand gesture movement and he gives you the rundown about his food in a very monotone voice like this. Yeah. Uh, he's doing a food tour again. And mm-hmm. he actually stopped by New York. He hated it. I don't know who told him to go get a salmon chopped cheese. Mm-hmm. Bad eats. That's bad eats. Terrible eats. As of recently, he went to D.C. And it was revealed, and I guess most people already knew this, that he has a shelf, uh, shellfish allergy. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Which probably takes out shellfish, friend. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> and you're in the DMV. And you're in the DMV area where they really primarily, I won't say primarily, but they love seafood over mm-hmm. here. Mm-hmm. But again, if he tried the salmon... <laughs> Chopped cheese and didn't like it. It didn't like it, and which is still fish. I don't know. I just feel like a lot of people are mentioning the fact that maybe his palate isn't as wide. Mm-hmm. And what kind of food critic is that? He might be like a food critic and like nigga shit. That's fly. You just got to put the little star next to it. I <laughs> critique nigga shit. Like maybe I'm that's what it, it, yeah. because for I'm you to it. go somewhere and say yo, I want a salmon chopped cheese. <laughs> yeah, like that's crazy. Now I do want to highlight that he does bless these black businesses, mm-hmm. of course. Shout like he that. has good intention behind this stuff, mm-hmm. which is important. That's why he blew yeah, up yeah. for sure. Like he'll give these restaurants upwards of twenty, thirty, forty thousand grand. That's what's up. You know what I'm saying? And help them out, especially if he enjoys the food. But on the other side of it, I'm thinking to myself, I'm like, damn, to be a food critic, right? Like I was big growing up on Chef Ramsay and Hell's Kitchen and mm-hmm. them niggas. Mm-hmm. They had to try a plethora of foods. That's how I learned out what a risotto was. But see, or uh, is he? <laughs> Shout out to Anthony Bourdain. Shout out to my son Andy. Is he a food critic or a content creator that judges food? I don't know. Right? Yeah, like, he's not like a. That's what I'm saying. Like, yeah, like we gotta con- stop blowing yeah, yeah. a lot. I see what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like he blew up because what he does is like people are calling him a food critic, but he's not like this like classically trained right wide now, palate yeah. food critic. You know? Yeah. yeah. So he just says I like this or I don't. Oh, I don't. Yeah, I, I, that's what I think, and I think he does it in a really good way. And I think, like you said, he provides exposure for small businesses a lot of times so there's a method to his madness i think he's a content creator who just happens to be really popular Mm -hmm. and people support him and what he does but i'm not necessarily gonna consider him a food critic and the thing about food critics is like your taste buds don't affect my taste buds. Facts. You I always might thought think about something that. is ass, that's, that's why yeah. I, like, I might love yeah, it, and yeah. you could be considered yep, yep. a food a critic, critic yeah, yeah. and your critique does not matter. That's, that's why I think it's important to have a wide palette, Yeah, because mm-hmm. you can speak to more. Especially yeah. especially in D.C., his most recent city, and then he basically was like, yo, I can't do this. I didn't like anything. That's like a very shortened version of it, but that's what yeah, happened. Yeah. But yeah. D.C. is like one of the most diverse. They have like an Ethiopian community, a Peruvian community, mm-hmm. a Mexican Thai, and like people are like, where are you sending this man? Like, we have such amazing food dc food uh food scene is amazing yeah. and then so people are like what could have possibly happened that you didn't like our so, food and, yeah so uh, I, I looked at the comments and there were a lot of people from dc um who also said hey like dc is not the place to come for food it's the place to drink yeah uh, it's, it's more agree. so for for uh liquor and you know just a, it's more of a party so a scene lot of people from than DMV for say e- that. and they were saying to go to virginia if you really want or food baltimore oh, okay, okay. Baltimore. baltimore yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. See, I, I, I don't really agree with that. I've been to D.C. a few times. I don't live in D.C., so maybe, mm. let me not say I don't agree, but my experience in D.C., the food is always great. Brunch yeah. is always great. Never really had a problem in, in D.C. See, it's hard to fuck up brunch. Facts. It's not, Chicken and though. Waffles. It's not, though. First of all, it's not that. No, there's, not, there's, a lot of places, there's a lot of places that yeah. don't focus on food when it comes to brunch. They, yeah. they focus yeah. on the aesthetics and the liquor. The and the food is actually really good. The one dish that I could think of is like, most food critics would say spaghetti, right? Let's say we had spaghetti, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. And I believe if the people who judge food taste spaghetti, it's a certain taste Italian flavor, right? That they want to be considered great spaghetti. If you don't put a little bit of sugar in that damn spaghetti for me, what? then we got problems. And bro, I can't you trust your critique. Oh, you want to know? You get what I'm saying? So that's yeah, the thing yeah, about yeah. food criticism, bro. It's yeah. like, I have certain <laughs> things that I like, certain oh, things that I want. Like, you Why can't tell me what's good and what's not. Yo, yeah. you got Kieran back here shaking his head fr- frantically saying, Now, you got to throw a little bit of sugar in the Hell spaghetti no. sauce. You would love you uh, I got to. Have I, you ever seen gluttonous. a food chain? It's called Jollibee. Like, when you're, yeah, like, walking yeah, around. Yeah, it's yeah, a yeah. Filipino food chain. Filipino spaghetti <laughs> is sweet. So I feel like whenever you're in a pinch, Savon, stop by. <laughs> a pinch. Because they have sweet spaghetti. Yeah, you, you got, you like, know. so, yeah, I don't know. I never really trusted food critics. Yeah, yeah. Um, Even movie critics kind of, like, eh, I've always felt this way, A yeah. little bit is, like... But see, I'll trust them if they digest a wide amount of things. 
Like, I'll hear them out. Because you're able to speak to more things. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll hear them out. If you're somebody that only watches horror films, Mm -hmm. I mean, salute to you, and I'm sure you're a pro in horror films, but if you can speak to action, comedy, etc., I'm not mad, even if you have a preference. Mm -hmm. It's just the ones that only stay on one topic throws me off. It's like, it's hard to critique something that you only critique one thing of. Like empanadas? Yeah. I feel like I could be a really good (laughs) critic of (laughs) empanadas. (laughs) Why you say I that? I really do. Because you like to eat them? I, yeah. I've had so many <laughs> different types of empanadas. Yeah. Like, so, yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Shout out to Keith Lee. Yeah, He's doing his yeah, I mean, no, at the real. end of the day, he did change people's lives, so we're not hating, but hey, I don't know. It's just a good question. Yeah. <laughs> real, because I'm like, you're allergic to shellfish. That takes out a lot yeah. for when you visit certain cities that are big with seafood and shellfish. That's yeah. true. Yeah. yeah. That's he, true. He also travels with his family. Right. So I'm pretty sure, uh, in my mind at least, what makes sense is, hey, he probably has his family try the shellfish foods. Gotcha. And then he and probably get their gets their feedback. Yeah, yeah. That makes sense. That makes sense. I like I'm that. assuming. I don't know. We could see that. We could see yeah. that occurring. 